Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, it's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, that's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, we just want to talk about miracles. Uh, if you are an atheist, uh, I'm, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, you can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, we'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, you can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, but please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, the email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T O N Y. And the second word is and, spelled A N D. And the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. We ended last week with a story about a woman who had looked in my direction at the right moment, which was a sign that God was telling me to give her a card about our book and our radio show. So she did look at the right moment, as I was inspired to notice, and I gave her the card. And it turned out she's a, a social worker and a therapist. And she told me that when we talked about the card and talked about our website, etc., that she has several clients that she knows will benefit by tuning in. So she's going to get some extra mileage uh, and God is going to get some value out of that whole episode because she's going to refer some people to our books and our website uh, who are in that zone of spirituality. Some of her clients are in that zone. We have a listener who took our lead and decided to go to a park and walk and talk to God and pray, do some meditations while getting some fresh air, etc. And they tell us that while they were driving over, they got to an intersection and a car came into the intersection with a license plate and it had the letter T, the letter T, like for Thomas, three times. So there were three capital T's, three times, T, 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 and it blew them away because they realized that T is the 20th letter of the alphabet. So it was like looking at three number 20's and three twenties, well, let's just take 120. 120 can be four times five or five times four. So in multiplicity of numbers, it, it was either um, five fours or four fives that they were looking at three times. And, you know, the letter, the number five indicates the presence of God. The number four indicates the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So they were going off to pray they believe in God, they believe in the Blessed Virgin Mary, and seeing the plate was a great confirmation that God was showing them that he was pleased, that they were taking time and making time for him during the day. We've often said, and many people have told us about it too, that when you take time to be with God, take some time to go pray or to read the Bible or read a book about God or talk about God, that when you devote some time it doesn't have to be a lot of time, but if you devote some time to God, what, what you're doing is indicating that you love him. Now, if you think about it, uh, anybody you love, you're, you devote some time to them, even when it's inconvenient. You know, somebody you love needs a favor. 
uh, you don't feel up to it or you're busy with other things, but you make the time and making the time, regardless of how you're feeling about it, you might be complaining in your mind, you're complaining that you're doing this thing for somebody, but you're actually taking the time and doing something for someone. And even while you're complaining, you are indicating to them that you love them. So maybe you don't feel like praying or maybe you don't want to pray. Uh, maybe you're, you've got some problems and you're annoyed that you've got a lot of problems. You don't feel like talking to God. And when you take the time to talk to God in spite of how you're feeling, that's a sign to God that you're devoting time to him and that you do love him, you see. So it's very important to know if you love God, you give him time even when you don't feel like it. Our next story is from someone who tells us they went to Mass at noon one day in Norwich at the cathedral. <clears throat> and as you, most of you know, if you get there like by 11.15 in the morning before the noon Mass, you can go to confession before Mass as well. So you can do two things. <clears throat> and this person did that. They went to confession first, uh, and then they went to Mass. <clears throat> and uh, be before Mass, between confession and Mass, they said a prayer. And their prayer was, Jesus, please stay close to me all day today. Many people say prayers like that, very brief, just one sentence. Uh, you talk to Jesus all day long, <clears throat> just using whatever pops into your head, one sentence like that. It's a beautiful prayer. Again, they said, Jesus, please stay close to me all day today. And then they went to Mass, and after Mass, they tell us an amazing thing. Uh, they left the cathedral, were driving off, and uh, as they were driving off, a car with a license plate three fours passed them. And then the next intersection, the very next intersection, they saw another car with three fours pull out at that intersection. So they're relating to us that they got a clear sign, right? Right after mass, perfect timing. One car with three fours passes them. And at the next, very next intersection, they see another car with three fours. <clears throat> And you may remember from past stories or f certainly from our books and our website, uh, the number four is a holy number. It reminds us of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and it reminds us of the rosary. So that was a very good story from someone who did confession, went to mass, and then saw the fours twice. They relate to us also. They said the rosary while they were driving home, and I guess the three fours showing up twice nudged them to do that. <clears throat> Now, the number 444 is going to get a lot of publicity today because uh, I also had a story about one day with three fours on it, and I, I thought I'd squeeze it in here. I was inspired to go to the beach one day, uh, <clears throat> a certain beach in Connecticut, and pass out cards, as I typically do, and you've heard many stories like that. Uh, I, I've been going to the beach uh, for three years now, three summers. Uh, I go very often during the summers. Uh, I've come to meet a lot of people and know a lot of people. Now when I walk along the beach, many people come over and talk to me as friends because over a three-year period, I've met many of them. And many of them have read our books and they use our website. Uh, and I'll give you our website one more time so you can go to our website, get a lot of free information. Our website is at, it's basically three or four words. Our website is um, WCAT radio.com slash miracles slash one more time w c a t radio.com slash miracles slash uh, so the story i'm relating to is the day I, this day i went to the beach uh, i drove down to a certain beach i was inspired out of the four beaches that day to go to a certain beach uh, it was beach number one out of four and when i got there i got inspired to ask God, where should I look for a parking spot? Because the parking lot was packed. I got inspired to go to the very first, the very first parking spot closest to the water in the first row. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, I was inspired to do this, so I was all excited. And sure enough, when what happened was I drove up to the first place closest to the water in, in the first row, and here's what happened. There was a car in that spot, and it pulled out just as I got there, precisely as I got there to the second, it backed out. And guess what? Its license plate number was 444. So I want to relate that to you today because we just heard another story about someone seeing three fours as well. 
And I should stress for everybody listening right now, finding that first parking spot and having the car pull out exactly at the second that I got there, I mean, to the split second, it's not hocus pocus, it's not magic. It happened because when I got to the parking lot, I asked Jesus a question. I said, where should I look for a parking spot? That's why it happened. So let me just say that again, okay? The miracle happened. I got the first place. The car pulled out precisely to the second because God had me driving for an hour and 20 minutes at a certain speed, keeping the speed limit. And that's why I got there exactly to the right second. And because when I got to the first beach, because I asked which beach to go to, and he said to go to beach, he inspired me to go to beach number one. So I was at the right beach, there's four beaches. And then I asked him where to park, and he said to go to the first place. So this miracle happened only because I asked him questions on the way down, what time to leave, what time to start, what beach to go to, what parking place to look for. So I'm trying to really stress for you, it's it's not any tribute to me that I get the miracle. It's a tribute to God. I asked him what to do. He inspired me, and that's why I got the miracle. So I'm trying to tell everybody listening, you need to keep asking God questions, and that's how you get miracles. If you're not getting miracles, it's because you're not asking him what to do. And God is present with every single person on the planet. So please don't think very much of me because I get miracles. I only get the miracles because I keep asking God what to do. I hope that helps the rest of you and, and tell your friends that that's how you get miracles. You ask God what to do, and then you do what he tells you to do. James chapter 1 in the Bible tells that tells you that. James chapter 1 and John chapter 14 verse 26 tells you that. And John 10, 27 tells you that. So the Bible tells you, ask God what to do, ask Jesus what to do, he'll tell you what to do. And obviously those are all miracles, okay? God bless you. I had a great productive day at the beach that day. I was inspired that day to explain to people uh, that you can experience a wonderful thing if when you're talking to God, uh, you ask him questions all day long and listen to what he tells you. And what I was inspired to do on this particular day was to share with a lot of people as I was inspired. I mean, almost everybody I spoke to, I told them, go to our website and when you go there, ask God which show number, because we've got radio shows now up to like the number, I guess, 250, 250 radio shows we've been on for more than three years. So there's 250. They're all listed. They're all numerically listed by number and by date. So ask God when you get to our website, which number, which radio show to play at random. Every day, you can ask him every day, go on there and just play the ones he tells you. And many people tell us that it's a fantastic thing that happens. God inspires you, you know, listen to show number 115 or listen to show number 42 on different days at random. And it's exactly the message you need to hear. So you try that for a while and you'll see by asking God what number to play, you'll be getting inspired with wonderful miracles, okay? Uh, so I've been, I was doing that all day. And then as I left, I got a great miracle happened to me on the, on, as I left. Um, I was driving, when I went to get to my car, I found a car that was parked right next to my car. And its license plate was amazing. It was the letter H three times, three H's, and then the letter A three times. That was their license plate, H H H. A-A-A. And that's amazing because uh, H is the, is the eighth uh, letter of the alphabet, so that's like three eights, and A is the first, so it's like three ones. So keep asking God what to do all day long, and you'll get miracles like this every day, I'm sure. God bless you all. I'll talk to you next week. Mm-hmm.